So this is Sandra Walter here with Pedal Magazine, and I'm in Carlsbad, California, with Christy Scrimger, and she is the owner of the Specialized Lululemon Women's Pro Cycling Team. So welcome. Thank you. Um, so tell me the maybe in a, in a bit of a abbreviated format about how you come from being marketing at HTC High Road at that team, and then all of a sudden now you own a professional cycling team. Well, I mean, it sounds a lot different, but it's really not that different. Um, basically, we have a lot of the same girls that we had last year, um, and they wanted to stay together. So um, at the end of the season, uh, we decided to give it a go and try and keep the team together, um, and it just came together. So my role is is really not that much different to what I've been doing before. It's working with sponsors, bringing sponsors on board, and uh, helping the sponsors activate their partnerships with us. So. so how did you how did you approach Specialized in Lululemon? I mean, was it kind of chance, or how did you how did you? I think it was we were definitely very lucky. It might have been just great timing um, with Lu when it comes to Lululemon, but we Specialized. We'd already been working with them um, as part of High Road and. They, I think, really liked having our women on their bikes because we we won a lot of races on on their bikes and and uh, I think they they were really excited to to have uh, this group of girls on their new Amira and they wanted to keep that, especially coming into an Olympic year. And so I called uh, Mike Senior and he was immediately enthusiastic and and he, I think you can see by the number of specialized people here that they're really putting a lot into this uh, partnership. And then uh, Lululemon, I think their timing was good. They're they're uh, obviously a yoga company, but they they branch out into the different sports, and they do yoga for running, and they do yoga for cycling, and they've already been involved in cycling this year, uh, sponsoring one of the men's teams with their clothing. And I think that uh, you know they just thought maybe it was this a good time for them to step up a little bit and to to be more involved. So tell me a little bit about your background. Are you a previously a racer, or what's your involvement in cycling, and how did you get to this point? I raced a long time ago. feels like a long time ago now, especially when I go riding with these girls, and they're a lot fitter than I am. Um, but yeah, I was, I was riding, uh, and then after I finished racing, I was working for Cycling News, uh, reporting on racing and working uh, in advertising. And then uh, five years ago, I started working for Bob Stapleton and High Road Sports. And um, my first year there, I was running the women's team. And then I moved into doing the marketing and communications for the whole team. Um, so I've st but still been working a lot with the, the same women in this uh, team. So. so you're still an avid cyclist, and I hear you're training, doing some running. I wouldn't call myself an avid cyclist, but I love it. Uh, I went riding yesterday with the girls, and it was fantastic. And um, definitely hoping to get some more cycling in this year. But yeah, I, I've been running because it's been easier when I've been on the road and I really enjoy that. And tell me a little bit about, I've, I've been hearing stories about um, you experiencing the grouse grind. This is the famous oh, hike in Vancouver up Grouse Mountain. It was a fantastic day. Uh, it was pretty hard actually. And we had a, a pretty competitive group so it was almost a race up the mountain but it was a really beautiful way to experience Vancouver. It's just such a great city. Excellent. So tell me a little bit about what your goals are for the team in 2012. Um, up until now, my goal for the team was just to get the team together and get running. And uh, but it's all it all happened very quickly, and we we're really lucky to have the support of a lot of our previous partners who who joined us again will join us again for 2012. Um, you know, we've we've got aside from specialising a little bit them, and we've got you know Oakley and First Endurance and uh, Head Wheels and um, a, a just really a lot of the sponsors that we had last year are carrying over, and we've got actually some exciting new ones like Strava. Um, so putting all that together in time for this camp has been the main thing I've been uh, doing so far, and then next year I really uh, it's going to be about activating this relationship, making it worth it for Specialized in Lululemon and everybody who's involved, um, but also to try to use these relationships, these new relationships and this focus on women's cycling to try and give the give women's cycling a little bit of a boost, to try and get more women on bikes um, together as a group. That's, that's going to be one of our big goals. So. 
So I spoke to Clara earlier and she kind of mentioned that you are this visionary because I asked her about her first day at camp and you know she's the newcomer and she said that the team immediately clicked and she said it was it was thanks to you you had this vision of of this team so tell me a little bit about about the dynamic. Well I think that she's uh, she's maybe being a bit too complimentary there but the nine of the girls have been together already last year and then adding Clara to any team is just a no-brainer. I mean, she's amazing. She's a, she's an amazingly driven athlete, but she's also uh, an inspiring athlete and person. And the girls immediately looked up to her when she came on this team, and they, they I think they've already learned a lot from her um, just from a week here. So bringing her onto the team is 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 great. I raced with her ten years ago uh, on Saturn, and having her back here is uh, it's 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 great. And then the other new girls we've brought onto the team are really fitting in as well. I think, I think this group of girls is uh, is is going to do great things together. So talk to me a little bit about the the whole the core team. I mean, the, there must be something special about them that you went to all this trouble and that they really did not want to let this see the team die. Well, you've got a group of girls who live on the road most of the year and they spend a lot of time together. Um, and this is a team that's been together since, uh, well, for the last five years. And of course, there's been changes over the years, uh, over the years but um, I think what we've done over the years is, is it's come to a group of girls um, that the chemistry's, the chemistry's almost perfect. Um, and they they just wanted to continue racing together. When you win races together, when you're on the road so much together, you just be become a family, and they wanted to continue that. So it's more about what they what they've done together and what they want to continue together than anything else. Yeah. So I'm asking people today about the whole the yoga thing because Lululemon Canadian Yoga Apparel Company. Um, so did you ever do yoga before this camp? I love yoga and. I I actually need to do yoga in you know, in a in order to run because I've I've got quite bad knees. So yoga has helped my running. Um, I haven't done enough of it, mind you, but I I really enjoy it. And actually, we've done it every morning here, and it's been fantastic. Awesome. So it's it's a it's a real gift that Lululemon has given to us. Yeah. Well, it's really neat because I've been talking to some people and they've never done it before, and then there's avid yogis, so yeah, it's a really cool thing. Everyone comes from different different experiences with yoga, but I think everybody has really enjoyed it, and uh, everybody gets different things out of yoga too. There's there's, there's, uh, there's a lot in it. Excellent. Well, good luck with the season, Thank and we're looking forward to seeing some victories from the specialized. We are too. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you.